Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm bringing you another video that's part of my uh, broke girl series on how to look more expensive on a broke girl budget. So today I'm titling this video, Genius Ways on How to Dress Like a Millionaire. I'm making this video because it seems like you guys really, really enjoy the series. So for as long as you guys are going to enjoy it and see value in these videos, I'm going to be creating them. I love making these kinds of videos. I feel Feel like they're super fun to do so if you guys are new to my channel hi welcome i'm going to link all of my previous videos that are part of this bro girl rich girl series in my description box down below so if you guys are interested you can check those out at the end of this video and if you'd like to see more videos like this make sure that you subscribe to my channel and also hit the notification bell to make sure that you are notified every time i upload a new video and you can also follow me over on instagram i have a lot more outfit inspiration over on my instagram and i would love to have you guys be a part of my little community and with that let's hop right into the video okay first things first i have to mention shop tagger because this is a tool that i have been using for the last year or so to do pretty much all of my online shopping and i want to share with you guys why i love it so much since I partnered with ShopTagger about a year ago, I've received so many messages and emails from you guys telling me about how much ShopTagger changed your online shopping game and how much you love it. So I'm thrilled to be partnering with my ShopTagger family again on this portion of the video. ShopTagger is a free web app that helps you shop smarter when you shop online. All you need to do is go to shoptagger.com, sign up and follow the prompts to install the ShopTagger button on your browser. Once you've installed the button, you can shop any website on the internet and use the button to save items to your shop tagger list. You can also categorize your lists into different shopping or wish lists and get notifications sent to your email or get mobile push notifications when an item you've saved is back in stock or goes on sale right down to your preferred size and color. Here you can see my current shop tagger list and you can see here on the left how I've organized my items into shopping lists. Creating lists has really helped me stay within my seasonal shopping budget and allows me to compare prices from different brands all in one place so I always get the best value for money. Another really cool thing that you can do is share your wish lists with friends and family, which is perfect for birthdays or special occasions. If you're interested in downloading ShopTagger for free, click the link in my description box down below. My next two fashion tips are actually tips that I picked up when I was in France last year. It is a very kind of French way of dressing. The first tip is basically to pair your high heels with items that have a lower hem. So the idea is if you are showing less skin, you can counteract that with something a little bit more risque and sexy, such as a high heel. So my personal favorite way of pairing my high heels is with denim jeans or with trousers. I think it's a really classy, elegant way to dress dress up a more casual style bottom and it's sexy but in a subtle way and it's not too in your face it doesn't look like you're trying too hard and on the other side of the spectrum my second tip is to pair lower heeled shoes with items that have a higher hem so if you're wearing uh, shorts or a skirt or something that hits your leg above the knee I think a good rule of thumb is to try and pair it down with a a lower heel like a kitten heel or maybe a flat or a sneaker to balance out the amount of skin you're showing so if you're showing more skin you kind of want to tone it down a little bit now of course there are no rules in fashion you can do whatever you want if you want to pair a high heel with a short skirt or a short dress by all means you do you next up I want to talk about personalized items because I think personalized items really really elevate a look and make your look look a lot more expensive. This is a basic t-shirt that I picked up from Suzanne when I was doing some shopping in Soho in New York a couple months ago, and it is embroidered with the letter N. So this is obviously the first initial of my first name. So it looks like it's customized because it's personalized with my initial and automatically people will assume that it is a lot more expensive than what I actually paid for it. I'm pretty sure this was like 50 or $60 
$50, but usually something like this that would have a personalization on it could cost a lot more than that. I love the quality of this t-shirt. I already washed it so many times. It's a little bit wrinkled because I just took it out of the wash and didn't dry it properly. This t-shirt wears so well. I've already worn it like a bajillion times. I love it. It's so comfy and it looks so, so good. Another item that I really like to personalize is my jewelry. So this is a initial necklace with the letter N. I've worn this several times already. I picked it up off of Etsy. Etsy has a lot of really beautiful, affordable uh, pieces. You can always find really beautiful uh, personalized items on Etsy. That's why I really love shopping there. By the way, everything that I'm gonna be mentioning in this video will be linked down below. So if you guys are interested, you can check that out. Okay, so if you guys have been watching me for a while, you probably know my obsession with shoes and bags. That is my weakness. Some people like nice cars, some people like jewelry. I'm a shoes and bags kind of gal. But if you're not in the budget of splurging on luxury designer handbags or shoes, you can still get the look without spending a pretty penny. And the way that you do that is looking for luxe materials. So this first example that I'm going to show you is a leather bag that I picked up for $30. The shape of this leather handbag is very, very similar to a Celine trapeze. So it does have that kind of designer-esque quality to it. But what makes it even more unique is the embellishment on it. Now, this bag is embellished with pearls and Swarovski crystals. So you would think that this would cost a lot of money, but in fact, it did not because I did all of this embellishment myself many years ago, hence why there is a ton of dust on it. But I literally just bought uh, some material glue. My favorite is called E6000. It's like the strongest holding glue ever. You can literally attach anything to it and it will last for years and years. And I had some Swarovski crystals. You can pick them up at a bead supply store and some faux pearls and I just created this design and it makes the bag unique it makes it look a lot more expensive and it's something that I will have in my wardrobe for years and years and it fits within a bro girl budget another quality that I would look for is good hardware this is a little clutch that I picked up from ASOS years ago and I still use this till this day whenever I go out to a special event it holds everything I could possibly need all I need is my phone and a lip gloss and it holds everything perfectly. You can even fit um, some credit cards and cash in there if you wanted to. This was like 20 or $30, but it looks so much more expensive because of the hardware and also the material that it is made out of. It kind of has like this mother of pearl face on it on the front and the back. So it looks very, very luxe and no one would ever guess how much I actually spent on it. So one of the things that I've noticed about people who tend to dress well or look like they are dressed in expensive clothing from head to toe is that they also smell really good. And the smell that they have, it is a very unique, distinct smell. I feel like a really good, complex, unique perfume will really add that extra level of oomph to your entire look and also make you feel a type of way, if you know what I mean. But perfumes can get really expensive. That's why I wanted to talk to you guys about something that I recently discovered. So let me backpedal a little bit and kind of paint a picture of how I stumbled upon this discovery in the first place. So a couple months ago, I was just doing some shopping with my cousin in New York and we went into a Neiman Marcus and I told my cousin I'm looking for a new perfume that is very complex and unique. So one of the salespeople that was working in the Neiman Marcus perfume department basically grabbed us by the hand and she's like, I have the perfume for you. And it was a line by Maison Francis Kirk de Jean. I personally have never heard of this brand before and the perfume she had a smell it was called Baccarat Rouge 540. This perfume was probably one of the most 
unique and distinct perfumes I've ever smelled in my life. And one whiff of it and you know, you know that it's an expensive perfume. It's so complex and the way that it breaks down on your own skin is totally different than the way it's gonna break down on somebody else's skin. Like on me, it breaks down a lot sweeter and on my cousin, it broke down with like a vanilla-y kind of after scent. It's incredible. I was obsessed with it. Only problem is it's a $300 bottle of perfume. And if you do the conversion into Canadian dollars, because that's $300 US, it's $400 Canadian. And I was not prepared to spend that kind of money on a bottle of perfume, especially considering the fact that I only wear perfumes on special occasions. I'm not a daily perfume wearer. Anyways, I got back home after that New York trip and I could not for the life of me stop thinking about that perfume i was obsessed so i was on the hunt to see if i could get my hands on that perfume in canada the salesperson at the name and marcus told me that it was only exclusive to name and marcus to harrods in england and i believe to bergdorf goodman in new york so basically i was out of luck when it came to hunting it down in canada but nevertheless i did a little google search and scrolled down all the way to the bottom of the first page and i saw the the name Baccarat Rouge 540 pop up and it said Thornhill, Ontario. I instantly clicked on the page because I'm from Ontario, I live in Toronto, and it was Baccarat Rouge 540, but it wasn't the original bottle of Baccarat Rouge 540. It was this. It was a rollerball and it is by the brand Oil Perfumery. And this is actually their interpretation. And this is actually their impression of back. And this is actually their impression of Baccarat Rouge 540. So even though this is not the real thing, it automatically intrigued me because A, it was available in Canada. B, the reviews on this were like five stars all across the board. Everyone kept saying that this is like one for one at the exact same thing. So of course I added it to my cart, I ordered it to my house. And as soon as I got back from my travels, I tried this on and I was like, holy, fucking shit. This is legitimately Baccarat Rouge 540. This smells exactly like the real Kirkjean Maison Francis, whatever you want to call it, perfume, except it is way, way cheaper. Plus, I reached out to Oil Perfumery to tell them how in shock I was and how in love I am with this perfume, and they gave me an additional 15% discount for you guys. All it is is Nikki Sky 15. It is not an affiliate code. It's just to get you guys an extra discount if you are interested in checking these out. Another thing that I really, really love about it is that this is 100% in oil oil perfume. The real Baccarat Rouge 540 has alcohol in it, but to really drive the idea home and just to make sure that this is just not a fluke, I ordered two other perfumes to try. Uh, these perfumes I actually own the real ones too. So I got Angel by Terry Mugler and I got uh, Chanel Chance. And over the last couple of days, I've been testing them out. So day one, I did the real spritz of Angel on one arm and I did the rollerball on the other arm. Angel is the only one that's not one for one the same. Chanel Chance is pretty much identical. All of them last so long on the skin. This is the one that I'm wearing today actually and I love it. These are so affordable. I believe they range from like 12 to 18 dollars and I highly highly recommend them. As soon as I tried the Baccarat Rouge 540 I texted my cousin to let her know about my discovery and she was like freaking out. So this is a little hack for you guys if you want to invest in a really high quality good perfume to make you smell more expensive. You don't have to buy the real thing. You can just buy a perfume from a site like Oil Perfumery. They carry everything from like Tom Ford to Chanel, Dolce & Gabbana, Jo Malone. It's insane and I'm so happy that I accidentally discovered them because now I can share it with you guys. So if you do try this out, let me know in the comments below how you like it because I am obsessed. The next tip I wanna give you guys to prevent giving away your socioeconomic status is to avoid things that are in bad condition with a 10 foot pole. I can vividly remember how I was standing in line to go through security at an airport and there was this woman right in front of me that was wearing a faux leather jacket that was literally peeling, peeling off. Now I totally understand not everyone can afford a real leather jacket, but there are so many other materials out there that are budget friendly, that look 
luxe and with time most things do fall apart and when they do fall apart it's probably a good idea to replace them or probably a good idea to get rid of them and maybe wear something else that you have in your closet because in my opinion going out with clothing or accessories that are falling apart is not a good look and I'm sure it doesn't make the wearer feel their best either I'm all about making you feel your best and I promise you you don't have to spend a lot of money to look and feel that way. Case in point, a lot of people that have money tend to spend a lot of money on things that don't need to be splurged on. One of those things is sunglasses. Now, I will confess that I do have my fair share of designer sunglasses. Accessories are kind of just my thing. I love sunglasses, but I also love wearing sunglasses that are not expensive either. And one of the brands that I discovered over the last couple of months and have been wearing non-stop is Zero UV. All of their sunglasses are like 10 bucks they look awesome. I especially love the whole cat eye trend because I feel like it further lends a more sophisticated vibe to whatever outfit or look you are going for. These ones are like their imitation of the Le Specs sunglasses. I wore these almost every single day while I was in Bermuda and I got so many compliments on them. They're just like a classic black cat eye that desperately need a cleaning, but they go with everything and they automatically make everything look a lot more chic. This is another pair of uh, sunglasses that look like the Le Specs ones, except these are tortoise. So these were all black, these are tortoise. Plus Zero UV reached out to me because they saw I have been spamming them with tags on my Instagram and they offered you guys a 15% discount code. All it is is Nikki Sky, I believe with three Ys and 15 at the end for the 15% off. Again, I feel like I have to mention this and put out a disclaimer out there that this is not an affiliate code. Um, some of these sunglasses were sent to me. I did buy some of them on my own. Some of them were sent to me from Zero UV, but I'm not making any money on the coupon code. It's simply just for you guys to save some cash. The next tip has to do with your tips. So personally, now this is just a personal thing, but I think a woman looks a lot more sophisticated and a lot more expensive when her nails are trimmed and shaped naturally. I've had long nails in the past and I've had short nails in the past. And for me, I just love short nails because first of all, I work on my computer all day long. It's so much easier for me to type. I'm a lot more proficient that way. I also always paint my nails a solid color. I always go with either white or nude and I try to maintain my nails. I get frequent manicures just to make sure that my cuticles aren't looking haggard. And I think that makes a huge, huge difference. You could also give yourself at home manicures. There are so many videos on YouTube on how to do that at home so you can save some money and also learn how to maintain your overall nail health at home. A piece that I think everyone needs to invest in, especially for the fall winter season, is an oversized coat. I think that a beautiful classic oversized coat just transcends time. You can wear it year after year after year. It automatically makes an outfit look a lot more sophisticated and put together, especially if you get it in like a bold or neutral hue. I personally tend to go with neutrals, plaids, or really bold colors. One of my favorite, favorite coats that I got last year is this beautiful red oversized coat from NAKD. I like to pair it with neutrals. I like to pair it with other bold, solid colors. It's super flattering. It goes with everything. It's so comfortable and it looks so expensive. Another one of my favorite tricks is to just throw on a suit. A suit instantly adds polish. It looks so good and so put together. Every time I wear a blazer or a suit on my Instagram, guys seem to like it so much. And there's a reason for that. It has a very strong, confident vibe about it. Even if you wear a pastel suit, like a pink suit. And I love that you can really customize your suit to fit your personality. So if you are feeling more conservative, you can just wear a classic pantsuit with trousers and a 
blazer. You could also pair it with denim. You could pair it with shorts. There's so many different ways that you can mix and match suits and blazers and just make it your own and just lend an outfit a more sophisticated vibe. All right, so currently in the fall winter 2018 season, there is a trend that is trending that I am praying that is gonna be over soon because I honestly do not see myself implementing this trend into my wardrobe and I don't think anyone should implement this trend into their wardrobe because in my opinion, it just doesn't look classy. Now again, that's just my opinion and what I'm talking about is neon anything neon nails neon hair neon makeup neon clothes i've been seeing neon clothes everywhere you go on zara you see a whole page of just neon clothes i don't get it i feel like it's a very trendy thing it's something that maybe someone like kylie jenner might dabble into it which she has in the past and she continues to do so and that's just not my style if it's something that you want to try out and it's your cup of tea by all means you do you i just don't think that it looks classy and timeless and since this video is about looking expensive on a budget i just personally would not spend my money on neon period what i would spend my money on is crisp whites regardless if it is after labor day i think that is like the dumbest fashion rule ever to not wear white after labor day i feel like white looks so classy and elegant and timeless and if you pair it in the right way it really doesn't matter what time of year you wear it it could also look really flattering and i i just can't get enough of white so that's a main message i want to get across don't let fashion rules dictate your fashion sense or style if something makes you feel good that's the only thing that should matter okay so i'm gonna steer away from fashion a little bit and talk about two things that will make such a big difference in your overall appearance and how you look and feel about yourself and that is your hair and your skin so the first thing i want to talk about is hair so when it comes to hair i feel like when it looks like your hair is taken care of it looks smooth it's not frizzy it doesn't look dry or damaged i feel like it looks a lot healthier like you've been spending a lot of money to maintain the health of your hair but you really don't need to spend a lot of money to maintain your hair there's just a few things that you need to do to make sure that your hair is looking its best and that is to minimize the amount of heat that you put on your hair not to overwash your hair not to use too much product on your hair and use products that are going to increase the overall health and vitality of your hair and i personally love using hair oils i'm a huge believer in oils in general for my skin for my hair for my perfume i'm just an oil kind of gal what can i say so one of my personal favorite hair oils uh to use on my hair is by aura bay this is the gold lust nourishing hair oil i'm actually going to use some right now all you need is one pump and i have like pretty long and thick hair now and this is enough for all of my hair because i just concentrated around like the mids and the ends of my hair where my hair really needs it most in the winter time i might use a little bit more than this because my hair tends to get super dry in the winter but this instantly refreshes my hair gives it so much shine and just makes it look so much healthier and silkier and i just love it it also doesn't hurt that it smells incredible it is kind of pricey but i've had this for like a year and i'm not even like halfway through so this will last you a long long time if you are looking for something more affordable from the drugstore i'd highly recommend this hair oil it's by beauty and planet it's the coconut oil and ylang Le i obviously can't speak today ylang ylang oil this one i feel is a little bit heavier in consistency in comparison to the orbe so you have to be a little bit more careful with this stuff because it can weigh your hair down it doesn't smell as good as this one but the ingredients in this one are really really good it's a very clean product and the price is right it's drugstore it's more easily accessible and more affordable and the next thing that i wanted to talk about that is not fashion is skin and i already mentioned my crazy oil obsession so i cannot have a skincare tip without mentioning my current favorite facial oils now personally 
when I see someone that has clear, beautiful, dewy looking skin, I automatically assume that that person spends a lot of money to take care of their skin and that they're using really expensive products to take care of their skin and make it look that way. And you really don't need to spend a lot of money to make your skin look that way. You just need to find the right products for your specific skin needs. And I personally found that in these two products. So this little gem is by Cora Organics. This is their radiant eye oil and it comes in a little roller ball and I just roll a little bit under my eyes. It has a rose quartz applicator. So it really depuffs if you do suffer from puffiness. I personally don't. I personally have the opposite effect. I have a hollowness under my eyes that I am trying to plump up naturally, but I find like this does the job for me weirdly enough it kind of rehydrates that area and replumps it and makes it look a lot smoother and makeup sits on top of this so so beautifully because it's a very thin and lightweight oil and it just absorbs into the skin like a dream and this beautiful gem in a bottle is a all natural 100% clean non-toxic facial oil by the brand Amaya. It's their Atma oil. I cannot tell you how much this oil has changed my skin, especially when I get off of a plane and my skin is feeling so dry and tight and rehydrated. I just slather this stuff all over my face and my neck and my decolletage and instantly my skin just looks and feels feels revived. I also put this under makeup. I mix it in with foundation. I put it on the high points of my cheekbones to add an instant highlighting effect and illumination to my skin. I cannot rave enough about this. So if you guys are looking for an incredible facial oil that will deliver results and that is made out of incredible ingredients, I highly recommend checking this out. Okay guys, so that's all I have for today's video. I really hope that you enjoyed it and learned something new. If you wanna see more videos like this one, please be sure to give this video a big thumbs up and leave me a comment down below letting me know that you wanna see more videos like this so I'll keep creating them. And remember, everything that I talked about in today's video will be linked down below, so be sure to check out my description box at the end of this video. And as always, I wanna thank you so much for watching and hanging out with me and I will see you in my next one.